Hello everyone, this is Aegis, and I have for you the second game between Harvey Mudd College and Carnegie Mellon University. Here I do have Captain, no, Corino Kabi playing for Carnegie Mellon University. Corino Kabi, the Blue Terran player, against our Red Zerg player, Captain Panda, playing for Harvey Mudd College. Harvey Mudd College is up 1-0 right now, so we'll see uh, if... Carnegie Mellon University can come back from that and win the game. So this is the map Metal Obelisk. Everyone does love this map quite a bit. Everyone does agree that it is quite balanced of a map. So we'll see what these players decide to do. We do have these cross spawn positions which will favor Zerg taking many many expansions and does give Captain Panda a little bit of an edge against our Terran player. So he'll be uh, fine to expand all over the map. If he does, please, uh, if he does uh, want to do that. He is also free to get his uh, natural expansion quite early on probably 14 or... Well, he is going for the safe build. He is going to go ahead and get his spawning pool up at 12. That is a little bit early, though, even even by uh, safe standards. So we do have Karino Kabi getting his gas up first. Oh, what on non-standard play coming out here so he might be going for something like banshees uh, want to get a lot of gas earlier uh, something like a lot of gas can also get you a lot of tanks which is quite good against zerg we do have his scv now scouting over here gonna see uh if he can find the zerg players he should soon find the zerg player in this cross map position this also clears terran to get a pretty fast expand as well uh, that drone did I think miss the SCV coming from that direction, so uh, it is going to scout up here first. We also do have gas coming up for Captain Panda now, and the first barracks now finishing up for our Terran player. We have a Korean Okabe guarding this natural expansion. We want to make sure to block that expansion when it does come out. You can easily get a engineering bay here and uh, almost complete it and then cancel it once it gets down to low health when those zerglings do pop out. And uh, speaking of which, we do have two zerglings spawning right now as well as the queen almost out. And we do have the factory up. Uh, so. No second gas, so we probably are not seeing Banshees, but we will be seeing uh, this quick factory here. Is going for the reactor uh, play with the Hellions here, so we should be seeing Hellions out on the field soon. Crano Copy is getting his uh, mules out. He's getting another supply depot. We do have um, Captain Panda spreading his Zerglings out all over the map. He does want to get good vision here. His drone is now returning from scouting duties. Gonna go back to mining. These two overlords chilling out over here and the expansion is now down and on the way. We also do have Kareno Kabi getting his second barracks and uh, as well as the first Hellion coming out. Might be seeing that swap anytime now. We do have it lifting off and the factory is gonna go ahead and take that reactor. Get a couple of Hellions out able to do some harass as soon as those drones do transfer over to the natural expansion. Uh, Korean Okabe getting a supply block there, uh, not too big of a deal but is something you want to look out for in your gameplay especially if there's an attack coming here, if there's a mainling bust you do want to be able to produce those units really quickly. Do you have a tech lab finishing up on that first barracks as well as a tech lab being produced on the second barracks the three hellions out here are gonna be able to roast that zergling away so captain panda does know that those zerglings are on the way so he should be getting something um like a roach warren or a uh, spine crawler at his natural expansion to better defend against these hellions but never mind that we do have the hellions now here and arrived we do have the second queen uh, coming down here to this expansion is going to be able to defend, uh, help defend against these Hellions. Those Zerglings taking quite a bit of damage, uh, getting completely roasted away by those Hellions here. These Hellions will soon be able to work on those drones. Uh, not quite taking out any drones yet, is roasting away quite a few Zerglings. Um, this Hellion has three kills here, seven kills on that Hellion. More Zerglings coming out here, and now the Zerglings do have speed. Uh, these Hellions are being a little bit mismanaged. They're losing another Hellion, uh, but I think that was well worth it, preventing Zerg from pr uh, producing as many drones as he would have liked to. 
if we take a look at unit loss, units lost, so Zerg has lost more, um, but those were all Zerglings, and not really any drones lost during that attack. More Speedlings moving out um, to follow this Hellion around. This Hellion it does back itself into a de dead end. Those Zerglings are going to catch a couple more Hellions off guard here. Uh, Cap uh, Karino Kabi not being very careful with these Hellions with his units here. Zergling's now going to have to retreat, meeting up with the main force of the Terran army. We do have another spine crawler. Oh, we do have the first spine crawler now on the way for Captain Panda. He does have the double gas and is finishing up his lair now. He does seem well defended against this. He has plenty of Zerglings. Should be able to hold off any Hellion push with these uh, Marines, with these Marauders, actually, mostly Marauders. Marauders, not as high DPS as those Marines, so uh, could easily get us around on those Marauders here. Not quite, this is a quite tense moment. We do have the Queen moving out, also the. Marauders getting completely surrounded there. The Hellions trying to micro their way away from those Zerglings. Zerglings are trying to still work on those Marauders, finishing up those Marauders, and all that's left are these Hellions. Those Hellions are going to have to back out of here. Uh, Karino Kabi not microing as well as he could have, losing this Hellion as well. Now, if we look at the resources lost tab, uh, Karino Kabi is starting to fall quite a ways behind. If we look at production, he is now getting his orb second orbital command up does want to take that expansion he has these two barracks now uh, on the way we also have his starport now on the way we all have the zerglings running up in here the gate was down but he does have enough units to hold that off two hellions now moving out he does not close that that was actually the sound of the command center lifting off the zerglings backing out of there uh, Captain Panda does have full vision of the entire map, full map control here, so he does know everything that is going on. He could do a better job of spreading his creep. This creep tumor is still just hanging out here. His queen does have plenty of energy from uh, even with spawning those larvae. We do have a Banelings nest on the way, so he could be going for a Banelings nest. Karino Kabi moving in out with another small harassment force. We'll see if he's uh, able to do any damage with this. Hellion zooming out of, uh, ahead. Don't think he has the blue frame flame upgrade, so uh, yeah, he doesn't have the blue flame upgrade. He's just getting more Hellions. He's going to try to counter those uh, Zerglings here with his mass uh, Hellions. Captain Panda getting his evolution in a nice place, uh, evolution chamber in a nice place to block off his ramp to prevent those Hellions from running into his main and doing a lot of damage. This uh, spine crawler is poking away at those Hellions here. The Hellions are moving forward. This Hellion was not microed as well as it could have been. The Zerglings getting us around here, but not quite enough to take out this force yet. Only one Hellion left, so once those Zerglings spawn, we'll be able to take out this force. We do have six more Zerglings on the way, as well as the central fugal hooks. All the drones getting pulled off here. Not quite enough units out for uh, Captain Panda. He's uh, using his drones to fight off these Marauders, which are very low health here at, from that many stims. We also do have this Hellion racking up the kills here. Now finally the Zergling spawning. I'm gonna clean up that last Hellion. Korean Okabe now has his natural expansion up and if we take a look at the units last time, Captain Panda is just slightly behind now but he did lose plenty of drones so that is quite a bit of damage that he's taken. Uh, Korean Okabe coming up with additional forces does want to keep pounding into the Zerg prevent him from making that many drones. We have Mutalisks now on the way. Oh, I don't know if he has the right unit composition. He only has these six Marines as well as this one Medivac to help heal them. So those Mutalisks will be able to do tons of damage. And here they are, these five Mutalisks. Once he takes out those Marines, that is it for Karino Kabi. The Banelings moving forward, getting off all the splashes on those Marines. All that's left are these Hellions, Zerglings, and the Mutalisks are going to clean that up so easily and is also going to lose that medevac there. So Karino Kabi is oh, very far behind now. He is not spending his money as well as he could have been. Uh, he does have 800 minerals in the bank, not something you want to be doing when you are this far behind. He is now getting his engineering bait in response to those Mutalisks. The Mutalisks not quite moving out for harass. Uh, he is going to go in for an attack here, I think. He does have Banelings for the bust. is going to be able to clean up these Marines quite easily. 
those Mutalisks do force you the Terran to make uh, lots of Marines rather than uh, getting as many units that are good against Banelings such as Sea Shanks. Captain Panda is moving up here checking to see if there's an expansion. And then he might be going in for a push, gonna try to get off a couple of key Baneling splashes while taking his third base down here in the corner. I'm just gonna point with my mouse. We're moving out here with the Marines. The Banelings are rolling forward now, trying to micro against them. Those Banelings not quite doing as... Ooh, taking out half the Terran army there. The Mutalisks are going to have to back out of there, but uh, the production of Captain Panda should be quite strong. He has plenty of Banelings uh, on the... Well, not quite, actually. I thought those eggs were Banelings, but we do have 10 Zerglings on the way. Uh... Karino Kabi looks like he's going for another small push. We'll see if this push is able to do any damage. Uh, his uh, Metamax do have plenty of energy, but once those Banelings are done, uh, there will be a lot of trouble. We do have the Zerglings as well as the Mutalisks here to defend as well. We do have an Elevator drop into the top here. Those Mutalisks and Banelings are going to be able to take this out quite easily. A splash going off there. But we're just going to use those Mutalisks to clean up the Marauders here. Banelings being mismicroed there, getting taken out by those Marauders here. One last Marauder here, hoping that the Mutalisks don't manage to see it, but it does get taken out. This Medivac running away scared. Um, hey, where is it going? <laughs> so we do have another force moving out. Uh, I think... Karino Kabi does need to focus on getting a pretty, bi a much bigger force before trying to push here. He does now have a siege shank here with siege, but the Zerglings are marching forward. The Banelings as well are coming in as well. The uh, oh, gonna have to back out there. Not quite managed as well as it could have been by Captain Panda. Otherwise, he would have been been able to squash that force there. He's gonna have to engage here on the creep. So we do have the Banelings now morphing again, more Banelings as well as more Zerglings and Mutalisks on the way, gonna come in for the attack, gonna try to take this out, he's gonna lose all his Mutalisks, the Banelings now rolling forward, splashing, taking out, almost taking out that Siege Tank, those two Mutalisks are at quite low health, he's gonna move forward with his Queens as well, the Siege Tank uh, gets surrounded by Captain Panda and we do have our Terran player very far behind now, losing army after army without doing much economic damage at all. Zerg player is just free to take another expansion, gonna start making drones here as well. Ooh, 24 Zerglings on the way, 24 Zerglings just hatched, 20 more Zerglings on the way. So we will be seeing a bust very soon by Captain Panda, his money is plenty high enough to support this production. We have another Hellion moving out here, I don't know what he's trying to do. But it's Karino Kabi. We'll see if he's able to win this game with these small little pushes. But the Zerg army each time gets bigger and bigger while his small attack forces are just the same size. We do have Captain Panda throwing up some spine crawlers here. Does want to deny that harassment uh, for the late game as well. He is still getting Zerglings. 14 more Zerglings on the way. Plenty of Banelings to be able to get off the key splashes against this mostly Marine force now. Marines are going to be able to deal with these Mutalisks, but those Banelings are going to be able to do a lot of damage. That Siege Shank is getting caught way out of position there. Going to get surrounded by those Siege Shanks and destroyed those Banelings. Still rolling forward, taking out a good portion of those Marines. Banelings rolling backwards, I'm not too sure why. There we go, the Banelings splashing those Marines. And Karino Kabi, despite having this command center, is not going to be able to take his for third base anytime soon. Instead, he's is going to have to focus on his macro. He's going to have to spend all of that money, get out a pretty good force in order to defend against Captain Panda's push. We do have the push coming now here. We have tons of Zerglings, nearly three pages worth, as well as the Mutalisks in the mix as well. We do have Banelings on the low ground as well. Banelings not quite as fast as those Speedlings. The command center trying to float over here, but does see this huge army is going to have to turn around. We do have the Marines and Marauders trying to defend this. Going to have to get a good spread out in order to deal with those Banelings. Banelings rolling forward. Going to get a couple of splashes off on that Siege Shanks. Those Banelings doing tons of damage. Going to wipe out the Terran army here. But the Mutalists are all that's left, and Karino Kabi holds this attack. Um, 
Uh, not quite, actually. He only has one Marine, so we'll see if he's able to defend against this. The command center now floating back is taking an expansion here and an expansion out here as well. The Mutalix is now uh, going to have to retreat here because the Marines are spawning out of these barracks right now. A ton of Zerglings reinforcing here, as well as nine Mutalisks just hatching right now. So uh, Captain Panda is looking to seal the game right now and take a game for Carnegie Mellon University. He is, does take out the remaining uh, Terran forces and Karino Kabi does call GG. So this game is over. Harvey Mudd College and Carnegie Mellon University are now tied 1-1. So we'll be going right into game three.